One thing is to get to be at peace with themselves, so they're not so negative towards themselves. If ever you go inside a prison, people are called criminals, prisoners. They wear special colour clothing. They're addressed as criminals. They're treated as criminals. Everything around them tells them that they're a special category of people called criminals. So after a while they become criminals. That's who they are. So when they're released, they're still criminals, so we offend. It's a very simple psychology that if you treat a person like a thief, a criminal, they become criminals. So when I went into the jails, by teaching them how to meditate, you see that there was much and much more to them than the crime through which they were put into jail. So I kept on telling them, look guys, you're not criminals, you're people who have done crimes. You're not criminals, you're people who have done crimes. You're not denying the terrible thing they did. You're also acknowledging all the other very worthwhile, kind, loving things they have done. When I told them that, they started to see it for themselves and the meditation was learning how to see that, the positive side of themselves. And that works so well that one of the great compliments I've had in my life as a monk is when one of the prison officers called me, they did not want to speak to any monk, they just wanted to speak to me. And they begged me to come back and teach. I said, I'll send another monk. They said, no, we want you. Why? And they told me, and I always, always, always remember these words, I have been in the prison service most of my life. I have noticed a unique thing. Every prisoner who went to your class never comes back to jail again. They never re-offend. And I took that as one of the great compliments. Okay. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. And that's how it works. <laughs>